cause you win. win. Not cause you nice. Welcome to Papoose World, where nobody is perfect. perfect. Death, death, lifetime bigs and hot verses. Good you too, man. It's your boy Resolve here, and I'm here with my first mixtape review. As you can see, I'm doing your boy Pat Poos with Hoodie Season 2, the second installment of his series. Now, before I get started with this, I encourage you, any, any lyrical rapper that I talk about or discuss, I encourage you to go to a site, if you haven't heard of it already, called Rap. Genius, I believe, yeah. Rapgenius.com. It's a site where it breaks down any rapper's uh, lyrical content line by line. Uh, you know, it breaks down any references they're talking about, any stories, you know, any punchlines. It will break it down and help you understand if you don't pick it up the first time after you hear their track. And so, you know, usually rappers, like I say, Lupe Fiasco, Andre 3000, you might not pick up the first time. And Pat Poose is one of those rappers with uh, very strong lyrical bars. So uh, I encourage you to go to that site. I will have it in the description. So, okay, with that being said, I want to start off uh, uh, reviewing my mixtape. Now, I'm going to review these mixtapes one through five stars. Now, one is just absolutely trash. I won't pick it up again. I'm done with it. <laughs> Finito. Two is poor. Like, it's trash, but I might pick it up. A month later and be like, you know, let me try to listen to it again. You know, it might be something, but for the most part, it's usually just trash anyway. So, uh, three being average that, you know, it's cool. You know, I can listen to it every now and then, but it's not nothing, nothing I'm breaking my neck to listen to. Uh, four is meaning that I, I like the, the mixtape for the most part. Uh, I can listen to it in my car for a couple of days, you know. And uh, five... Is just I absolutely love it. I'm talking about like while I'm driving, I'm trying to steer and and find the mixtape on my phone because I love that mixtape so much. Like usually it's a mixtape that you can every single track, if not you know maybe one or two might be off, but usually every single track you can listen to without skipping. And it's, <laughs> it's not a lot of mixtapes like that out here. But uh, man, let's get to this mixtape, man. So hoodie uh, hoodie season two hosted by K Slate. DJ K Slate. It dropped January 31st uh, of this year. Uh, you know, Pat Poose referring to himself as Mr. Uh, King of New York himself. Uh, like I said, it's the second mixtape in the series. Uh, you can go download Hoodie Season 1. Uh, that was pretty good. I actually like Hoodie Season 2 uh, slightly better. Uh, I'm going to say this right now. Uh, Pat Poose is not a mainstream rapper. So, any... If you like to listen to Rick Ross, Meek Mill, Two Chains, all them dudes or whatever, like you, you might not care for Pat Post that much. He's usually like a underground rapper, something like Cassidy or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, like I said, man, just check dude out, man. Dude got bars. Uh, this this uh, mixtape, 19 tracks, a uh, few features by uh, uh, Buck. Yo, his track go hard. Uh, Buck came hard on his track. Uh, the Game, uh, Vado, uh, Young Chris, John Connor. Uh, he even had uh, Trinidad James, which I thought was kind of uh, weird. But, uh, uh, you know, Trinidad James is supposedly big right now. So, you know, you got to do what you can do. Um, you know, he sampled some beats like from uh, you know, Rick Ross. But, uh, of course, he had a lot of uh, New York type bass beats on his uh, mixtape. And I thought were pretty good. Um Couple tracks that I, you know, I really favored or I really liked a lot. Um, one is uh, track number eight called "Obituary." Now, pretty much, it was a track he was talking about death. So, you know, it was kind of slow and you know, kind of sad. But he was very passionate on the track. He talked about like people like Nelson Mandela, uh, Paul Walker, you know, uh, the deaths of them, even his own brother. And he just broke that down, uh, just pretty much paying his respects and stuff like that. So, and uh, putting that all together in in one big track, yo. So, you know, I definitely thought that was pretty cool. And uh, shout out to him for that, man. A very respectful track, uh, talking about life being too short. Uh, so, I, I, like I said, I thought Obituary was a very good track. Another track was track number thirteen, um, a track called. Uh, Hip hop. Now, hip hop was you know your New York style beat, upbeat, 
uh, he was pretty much talking about just hip hop in general, man. He, he brought up a couple references, a couple beefs like uh, Tupac and Biggie, uh, 50 Cent and Ja, uh, Jay Z and Nas, man. Just talking about you know how the hip hop game was, and you know just referring to himself as you know that hip hop god uh, or New York rappers being you know on top of everything. Um, and like I said, those those track those two tracks really stuck out to me. Uh, there were a couple tracks that were kind of weird. Uh, DJ K Slay, you know, they had a couple uh, beats on there that were just you know I thought was just off some techno ish type beats. Uh, I don't even know if that's really a word, but uh, really don't care for techno too much. Um, but the lyrics are always you know he always comes hard with the lyrics. Uh, as, as far as the mixtape cover, uh, I don't even know, because in the hoodie season, a lot, hoodie season, King of New York, a lot of his mixtapes, they're just, I don't know, he really isn't too creative on his mixtape covers. He just kind of takes a, a selfie of himself. Out of town is the more kings. Dr. Dre vs. Easy E. Busy B vs. Cool Mo D. Cold Crush Brothers, Fantastic Five. Let me spell it for you one more time. I keep it H-I-P, H-O-P, H-I-P, H-O-P. H-O-P. We keep it H-I-P, H-O-P. Back to the S-T-R-E-E-T. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be my mixtape cover, boy. Pat Poose. Pat. Poose. So anyway, uh, like I said, man, check out Hoodie Season. Uh, also, I'm going to put down uh, a couple of YouTube videos for you to check out uh, Pat Poose, man. Check out uh, Pat Poose's uh, control response to Kendrick, man. He snapped on that. Uh, also, uh, check out his rap guy response uh, to Eminem, man. Uh, this, you know, he went off on that. Uh, um, people argue back and forth about who is better, him or Eminem. Even Crazy Bone went off on that, but that's another story. Uh, and also, man, a throwback from Pat Poos, man, Alphabetical Slaughter, man. That's very popular. If you haven't heard that, like I said, I'm going to put all these down in the description, man. Check them out, yo. Uh, if you don't like Pat Poos, like I said, everybody's not going to feel him. He's not real big right now. Uh, a lot of people <laughs> even think he's corny, man. But, uh, you know, it, on, on, on some real, man, it... It's not that hard to tell, you know, who's lyrical and who's not. You know what I'm saying? So if you if you think Pat Poos is just complete garbage, then you know one can say that you might be a hater. So man, that's that's all I got today, man. It's your boy Resolve with Hoodie Season Two, man. Get back at me, yo. I'm gonna come back with some, uh, I believe, uh, some pro era, some pro era stuff coming up, man. On the real, uh, like I said, get back at me, man. I found my Resolve, man. What's yours? Chemists who magnetic the all things. True religion, sweatpants, gun tucked in a drawstring. Swim in Marcy Pool. Brooklyn niggas who all scheme. The bloodshot, red eyes, skin pale from the chlorine. Rehabs is full of the.